One. What general area will be researched? The area that we're going to be talking about is the selective catalytic reduction of uh, nitrogen oxides or NOCs. And uh, this is a process used uh, in combustion processes of fuel. Two. How is the process now performed and by whom? The process is being currently made by countries in Europe, in, uh, the US and Japan, and it's a process to eliminate some of the flue gases, specifically the NOx that go to the environment and are bigger, that can deal a lot of damage to the atmosphere. Um, the um, flue gases, um, enter a packed bagged reactor and before they reach the catalyst the catalyst bed they are injected with ammonia that in a certain range of temperature and in presence of the catalyst and oxygen they reduce the NOx to uh, elemental nitrogen and water so this helps uh, to reduce these kind of gases three what scale are the present processes tons a year moles a year Depending on the process and the fuel that it's being burned or consumed, uh, the rates change, but and the efficiency. Um, this process can work up to 100% efficiency, but normally it works above 90%. Uh, for uh, the specific uh, fuel coal, um, it depends on the type of coal, but uh, it varies between 450 uh, cubic feet per minute and 550 cubic feet per minute when uh, a million BTUs of energy are produced per hour. Uh, this is the, the unit that it's normally used uh, to measure the amount of fuel that it's being burned. So that's our rates more or less. But uh, it's important to consider on that only between uh, seven and two percent of these are the nitrogen oxide. So most of it are another type of uh, flue gases. Four. What chemical transformations are involved? The purpose of this chemical process is the transformation of nitrogen oxides into inert gases. For it to happen, two species must be present in the system. The reductant must be added to the flue gas, which contains the nitrogen oxides, and with the selective catalyst, the redox reaction will take place. Therefore, the reactant species are the nitrogen oxides and the reductant gases, which in our assessment will be ammonia. They will be transformed into nitrogen and water vapor, which are no longer harmful for the environment. Five. How much money is involved? The capital costs for having a selective catalytic reduction system are dependent on the fuel types, the concentration of the nitrogen oxides in the inlet, the required concentrations at the outlet, and the reactor arrangement. A paper we read stated that for eight utility boilers installed in 2012, the SCR capital costs range from about $270 to $570 per kilowatt while the operation and maintenance costs of the system are nearly uh, 10 cents a dollar per kilowatt hour. In this table, we can see the selected catalytic reduction cost data for utility boilers in electric generating units. The capital cost for SCR systems in boilers decreases with the economies of scale. Having more boilers make the costs lower, as they can vary from 100 to 167 dollars per kilowatt. Six, what individual chemical reactions must be performed and what conditions are they typically performed under? As we can see, in both reactions, the main chemical transformation is the reduction of nitrogen oxides into nitrogen gas and water vapor. The dominant reaction is the first one, as nitric oxide composes 90% of the nitrogen oxides in flue gas. The reaction is performed after a combustion process, hence the conditions are high temperatures between 250 and 430 degrees Celsius and that water vapor is always present and it may inhibit the reaction. 
we can see on this graph that between 700 and 7500 degrees Fahrenheit, the nitrogen oxide reduction reaches its maximum values. 7. Are catalysts used? What types? The catalysts used in the selective catalytic reduction are mainly metal oxides such as vanadium, titanium, but also platinum or palladium. These are often arranged in a honeycomb structure as a porous plated metal. Um, these help uh, reduce the activation energy to transform nocive NOx gases into nitrogen inert gases. These, you can find this reaction mainly in the catalytic um, converter in your car. Eight. What is known about the reaction kinetic constants, side reactions, and mechanisms? The efficiency of the reaction mainly depends on temperature and concentration of NOx entering the catalytic converter. The desired uh, intervals in which this occurred must be 15 to 1, 150 particles per million of NOx and the temperatures must be above 250 degrees centigrade. If the temperatures are not high enough, um, many side reactions can occur, such as the oxidation of NOx to um, convert into explosive ammonium nitrate or the production of ammonium sulfate, both undesired. 9. If reaction kinetics are not known, is there a way you might estimate them? To get the body of the reaction rate, we need the slope of a concentration against time graph. The problem here is that those values are experimentally obtained. Nevertheless, if we could get the experimental value of concentration, we could estimate the reaction rate. 10. What specific reactor in the overall process will your group design? As we need lots of layers of catalyst for the reaction, we will design a fixed bed reactor, which provides high surface area to volume ratio. 11. What are the net reactions? Several chemical reactions occur in the ammonia SCR system, as the ones expressed by equations 1 to 5. All these processes represent desirable reactions which reduce NOx to elemental nitrogen. The reaction path described by equation 5 is very fast. This reaction is responsible for the promotion of low temperature SCR by nitrogen dioxide. Normally, nitrogen dioxide concentration in most flue gases, including diesel exhaust, are low. In diesel SCR systems, nitrogen dioxide levels are often purposely increased to enhance NOx conversion at low temperatures. Summarizing this, equation 2 represents the dominant reaction mechanisms, while reactions given by equation 3 through 5 involve nitrogen dioxide reactant, which is only 10% of the NOx found in flue gas. 12. What will be the reactants or catalysts? What are their prices? The species for their reactants will be aqueous ammonia 29% per weight. And the price is $0.293 per gallon. And the species for the catalysis will be manarin pentoxide and titanium oxide. And the price is $5,000 to $6,000 per cubic meter. 13. Will heat transfer be an issue? The ammonia can react with nitrogen dioxide, producing explosive ammonia nitrate. This reaction occurs at low temperatures, under 200 Celsius degrees. To avoid this situation, it is necessary to keep the temperature above 200 Celsius degrees. In other cases, ammonia combines with sulfur trioxide to form ammonium sulfate and ammonium bisulfate, which get deposited and dirty the catalysis, the pipes and the equipment. At temperatures under 200 Celsius degrees, falling with ammonium sulfate can drive to a catalysis deactivation. The reduction of nitrogen oxide is exothermic. However, as the concentration at the island are typically from 0.1 to 0.2 per volume concentration, the heat generated is small. 14. 
Will special materials be needed for the reactor? Why or why not? It depends on the kind of the reactor. There are two different, the full SCR and SCR in the duct. Full SCR stores the catalysis in a separate reactor chamber. The boiler combustion gas should be conducted from the economizer to the reactor and then to the heater entry. A separate reactor allows that a large volume of the catalysis could be installed in layers. And SCR in the duct, in this generally, the ducts are larger in order to bring no space to the catalyst. This kind of reactor saves ducts, reactor chamber, and TI fan cost. The description and size of the reactor may satisfy the next requirements. 